Welcome to the very first issue of Artwork and Battery. For all of you out there who don't know me, I am Arides and uh, I was a guest appearance over at Moth and the Machines. And I'm very grateful for him that he recommended you to this channel. What will this channel be about? Well, mainly artwork, as the name implies. And I will be starting this by showing you the work of the last four, my works of the last four years. And I hope you enjoy it, and I'll try some new things that Moth might include as well. Enjoy! So, what will this fuss be all about? Let's start with artwork. I will show you the models I painted. Even though I'm a Sigma player and I also painted a couple of Horde miniatures, it won't be necessarily Privateer Press only. I painted Warhammer, I painted Warhammer 40k, I painted some Ragnar miniatures, I painted some Firestorm Armada f um, ships. So you have, can expect there will be a lot of different models coming up from me. Most of the time not converted because that's the field I'm lacking skill in. And if you see a converted model painted by me, you can be 150% sure uh, I gave it to someone I knew who can convert like hell. Second, I might think about doing step-by-step -step guides. Even, uh, may it be um, for some minor tips in painting faces or something like that, because uh, I'm pretty sure out there are folks who can do it way better than me, but I want to try these things and uh, maybe about the topic that I think I can really refer to and that's pinning models. I heard a lot of guys say, uh, you cannot pin this, it's too big, it's too flimsy and I said, uh, wait a second, I pinned that 10 times. So maybe I'll do something like that. Then again, maybe I will comment on some um, new releases made by other companies, not only Privateer Press itself, but, well, mostly. Um, I will do an issue where I will show you how I paint, uh, how I want to paint up the upcom the new released uh, Firestorm Armada Banshee class Rent System Navy Dreadnought. And, um, well, maybe I'll show you some miniatures that stand on the shelf right here, right now. And uh, maybe I'll try something like a sneak preview. As you can see, it's Lady Ayana. But, on the other hand, as you can see, as I'm uh, filming this with an eyesight camera, you won't be getting any close-ups anytime soon, so we'll have to leave it at that. And last but not least, maybe I'll do even some of the rather cool idea of the base body and beyond videos made by some other folks like Tinman XL or Marth on this behalf, uh, or Mr. Fright 2010 as he is called on YouTube. So I'm pretty much sure that would cover it, but I won't exclude battle reports from my video log because. I'm a War Machine player and that's what I do, so I will be playing against Marth most of the times, but I will have matches he isn't present. So I will do my own battle reports in the way I want them to be. So no more War Machine at the beginnings, but the song you heard just now. On that behalf, let's be sad. Um, for we share the same local community, Moth and I will maybe go to the same tournaments, so uh, be sort of assured that you will have uh, tournament reports as well from me, and uh, maybe you get a broader view of the whole tournament if you watch both of, both of our reports on that behalf. In fact, the, my next issue will be the first tournament report I will ever do, so be prepared. So, I hope you enjoyed my little time travel, and um, if you have questions about the models I painted, just leave a comment, I will answer them ASAP. And uh, please do not expect too many videos uh, coming up right away, because 
I am a full-time worker and uh, I can only do them in, fr in my free time. And um, I also paint rather slow. It takes me about 11 to 24 hours to paint a infantry-sized war machine model. And, um, well, I will take my time for that. Um, on the other hand, for all of you out there who are thinking, oh, I cannot paint, there is a reason, reason I put the sentence, a painting is not a city in China, into my uh, private press forum signature. And um, I'd rather go as well as recommend a certain webcomic to you. Uh, the link you can see right there, right now. And, um, well, that's about anything I have to say for now. And uh, see you next issue. I hope you stay with me. And for Crown and Country, farewell. <laughs>